skill that is very important for the players to, to learn. Uh, and you can work on this in different kinds of ways. Play intelligence is for me uh, some way of being smart tactically. But it's not like you know all the tactical stuff about how to, in this situation, you have to do it like this. And then we have solutions for everything. And if we learn the textbook, then we know all about uh, all about tactics. Playing intelligence is when we're in a situation we don't have a, a textbook solution for how do we solve this. The ones with high playing intelligence will find a solution. The ones with low will just go to the book and look. Okay, I don't have a solution. I can't solve this situation. Then I lost the point. But you see, uh, for me it's more like if you have a different kind of persons. Normally you have boys, they somehow get into trouble. But the boys uh, could also find solutions when they're in trouble for life in general. If they're in school and they do something they are not allowed to do. And then they get go to the principal's office and somehow they talk find a solution to talk, oh, it's not that bad, but, but oh, I know, and so on. And they don't get any punishment. That's for me, because they're intelligent. They have this way of solving difficult situations. And it's also the same kind of boys who is good at court to find solutions, who is technically strong. But if you see uh, a lot of girls, they go for the textbook solutions, because they want to do everything in the right and proper way, and you can make girls work extremely hard in this normally. Uh, and they will learn everything, and they will, if you ask them a question about the textbook, they have all the answers. If you ask the boy, who say, oh yeah, some of the, yeah, it could be like this. <laughs> but the girls will just be uh, So for me, we need to start early to try to create some games where you have to think about it's not like, okay, this is the right way to solve the situations. It's more like, how can I be smart to win in this game? So now we have to play the quarter of single. So it's like, this is the back line. We have to play behind this and to the middle and out here. Okay, normal game. That's not difficult. We've done it a lot of time. But every time we hit with our back hand, we can only play a short one. <laughs> with our forehand, we can play all, all, all over the court. Okay? So that's the restriction. So every bag. If you hit your forehand, you can hit it. You can do whatever you want. But every time you hit your back, you have to play short. Okay? So that's it. Final solution. It's about winning. It's important to win. <laughs> When you have to return your position on the court, do you remember what it was? Yeah, when I was served? No, when uh, yeah, I don't know, Sven, when he was served. Yeah, I went more here. You were actually a little back, bit back, but if you were served, you were back, and you were back, you were back, and 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 you you were back, and you were back, and you were back, yeah, to, to the to the backhand or to the forehand. Oh. Yeah, because in the beginning I saw you serve to the backhand. That was a good move. But why did you start to serve here? Yeah, because when I put, uh, I'm just low with the racket, yeah. and you put uh, the return here, and I had no problems. But if you put it here, I always like it went like this. Okay, yeah. And then I had a better option. Pressure up in there, and then I put the next uh, next one. Yeah. Okay, so I always try to find a solution to use this restriction to prepare. So now, he was trying to find a solution how to win points instead of like the textbook says, okay, we have to play the game like this. Have you been in a lot of trouble in school? Or? Because you find good solutions. <laughs> <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> the teachers had much trouble. <laughs> Smash a backhand and go straight to the net. Yeah, when you do the smash, would it be a full smash, a half smash?
Netz vor keinem Netz gebildet wird. Weil keiner Freihersteller in Espace von der Ja, so if we make a full Yeah, something like this. Then it will come fast back, and then you cannot be high on it. Go with a little bit slower smash, then I will just smash to get the next one high on it. That will also be a sample. Okay? So, uh, the next game is a different kind of game. Now we have to play in the two big areas here, the box. Areas, uh, so you have to gain one point. But you can always get one point if you make a win in the black area without the opponent touching the So you have to be here. Then you get one point. So if I have one point and play and I make a win in the black area, then I get one point and I have two wins over the next time. I have the opportunity again to get another one. That's ganz okay. After a short serve, it can go all in on the right side if he has zero points or one point. Yeah. So the chance is higher to get one point. Okay, so it's, it was more because of the scoring system that you think uh, in the beginning, if it's a zero zero, you have to uh, take a lot of chances. Because you can just go for the right one, and if you win, okay, you get a point, and that's fine. You don't lose that much. Like if you're playing tennis, if the scoring system in tennis is also like it's okay to lose some points. You just have to make sure that you win four points at some point during these uh, small, yeah, small points in the set. Um, did it change? It, did, you, did this game make you think about how to win? Or did you just win? No, in the beginning you, you, just, you always try to play only on this, on this right side and in the end, okay, it's not the right way, so I have to try first um, keep him out of the side and then play only the winner in this, in this corner, so that was my idea then. Yeah, exactly. So you have to use the left side as well. And sometimes you can also make winners in the left side because everybody is trying to yeah. defend this side. Okay, it's totally open here. So if we think about this, if we have a long match to play against an opponent. Okay, if we have some sort of awareness, awareness of where are the position, where is the open space, okay, then make these points if in the defense, like uh, unlimited to this side, somehow I'm positioned always like this, because I want to block the sway point. And there could be a big gap here. I could also always go to the center and stand like this and try to cover it all. But in a game like this, we start to think about where is the gaps for the open space. Okay. A final game here in this session is that uh, we play again the box. If uh, from this side, you're going to take a ball and pitcher from the rare court, and you make a straight winner. It doesn't matter where the court on the other side. Then you get three points. If any other point, is just one point. Okay. So if I go back here and make a winner, I get three points. But from this side, only one. You know that you just said with the forehand? Yeah. That's important because if um, yeah, I'm going with the backhand, that's only one point. Only one. Hmm. Okay, try so talking. It's during the, yeah. the match. How? Sometimes you try to have some lock it. Yeah. And you don't understand? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah. I try just, okay, come on. So I take, give you the counter because I, I stay deep then. Because they always walk just the three corners. So. Yeah. You, so there was an open space here? Yeah, open space here. Yeah. Okay. When you lift it to the back end corner here, if I got a lift, which kind of feel did you have when you get this lift? You have to move it. Yeah. Now, you have to build it. Yeah, now I have the chance. 
it, now just go for it 100%. Yeah, because the, now I can get three points. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> the other one is always playing deep, I'm standing deep, right? It's ready. Oh, it's going down, but I want to catch it. Yeah. So, this was actually... If you get a lift in the back of the corner and you can take the corner, it may be a good opportunity. But it's not always a good opportunity. So you have to still to think about, okay, it's, I'm in a good position to go for the full attack. Instead of just saying, okay, get a lift. I just gave everything. Then I'll make three mistakes and only, then I'm three points behind. So for me, a game like this could be that the, if you think about a player who has a very dangerous shot from an area. How do we solve this situation? Okay, we like we just don't play to this area. If we can, if we can win like this, okay, it's fine. But sometimes it's not enough just to play the triangle. It's not playing uh, in a whole corner. I could also play to the corner, knowing that he has this dangerous shot. It could be a ball and something like this. So I play to make him go for it, and then I just make the count as you said. That's another way to, to deal with this situation. And if I take away his best weapon, then he has to go for the second best weapon. And what would that be? We don't know because, uh, and maybe we don't know it himself, because he's never been in a situation like this. So that could also be a way to solve it, to just make the count of one his best weapon. Because then he will start to think about, okay, what the hell is happening? I normally win a lot of points on this shot, but now I, don't, I just lose every time. For me, that's playing in sentence, because then you are very strategic in your way of thinking on court. You have to be clever to do these kind of things, because you have to, if you do the same things over and over again, then the opponent should read your game. So, okay, I play like this, then uh, in one point, then I play five different points, and then I go for this again to play to this corner because I know now he's not focused on that I know which kind of structure we go with. So there's a lot of small aspects all the time to create the situations, to see the situations. So you have to think through the match all the time. What do you think about also way of doing it? But for me, uh, when I have younger players, I play a match matches like this a lot. Uh, of course, if small uh, kids we play in a smaller area, if it's bigger, we want to play the, the bigger core. But it's, for me, it's more like, okay, the purpose is not like finding a solution in a certain situation. It's more like, okay, I try to develop the creativity. As we remember from yesterday, one of the the skills I like players to have is creativity. So I need to challenge them. And then we have to talk about how to be smart. Because one thing is that you find the solution when you play some players. It's not that aware, they just make it happen on court because they have a good feeling of what is happening. But if we start to talk with them, then they will be more aware of what is happening. And then we can make the transfer to when we go to play uh, a normal match. Do you see a uh, difference in girls and boys and how they approach? <laughs> Big difference. And what kind of difference do you think? I, I know it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, actually, uh, if you, before training normally, if you have a training with boys and girls, the girls will sit and talk on the bench, the boys will be playing English novels or something else, all these kind of games. Uh, that's usually how it is in them. And uh, if you challenge the girls like playing like this, in the beginning you'll be like, oh no, I don't think it's fun. It's not fun to play this game because there is a winner. And it's not good for the social thing. And then there'll be one is better than the other. And you have to, you have to think out of the box. That's not easy normally for girls. And then they, it'll just be, okay, they don't feel comfortable in this situation. But I also have seen that the, when I've done it a lot of times with girls, you can change it. And you see that some girls find it very, very fun to do these kind of uh, games. Uh, and 
then they find out, okay, I'm not very great, okay, that's fine. Then they start to laugh about this. Okay, I'm not good at this, but I still try. But there will also be the group of girls who will never find it fun to do these kind of things because they will always lose against the guys because they find it very fun to find the solutions and make the trick shots and so on. Uh, and then they just feel embarrassed on, on the court. And then, of course, it's not fun to be embarrassed. But if you can create some sort of environment where it's... Uh, I think it would be, be okay in a group of girls, actually, if you have this talk about, okay, this is what we're trying to, to gain from these exercises. Then I actually think it, it would take time to accept that this is actually out of the box. But give it time, and then I think you will actually see a difference. <laughs> okay.